Hey guys, welcome to Computer Conversation. In this video, I will discuss on different units of a computer and I hope everything will be clear to you. So let's begin. A computer uses combination of hardware and softwares that provides various functionalities. This computer uses the working cycle of input, process and output. For this cycle to occur properly, there are different basic units within a computer as shown here in the diagram. The units are input unit, arithmetic logic unit, control unit, memory unit and output unit. Now let me discuss about all of these. First of all, input unit. This unit comprises of devices that are used to take in inputs. These devices are attached to the computer. They take in input and convert the data to binary form that the computer understands and the data is then either stored for later use or processed by the CPU. Some examples are keyboard, mouse, joystick, scanner, etc. Now the central processing unit. This is the main unit of a computer and it is called the brain of the computer. After getting input from the input devices, it processes the information. It first fetches the instructions from the memory to know what to do with the information. The data is then fetched from the memory or input device directly when required and then processed and then gives the output through output devices. The central processing unit consists of three units. Arithmetic logic unit, control unit and memory unit. Let me discuss these units one by one. First is arithmetic logic unit. As the name suggests, this unit within the CPU performs arithmetic and logical operations on data. Mathematical operation includes addition, subtraction, division and multiplication. Logical operation or decision includes comparison of two values that is greater or less, checking equality of two values, etc. Next is control unit. This is one of the main units within the CPU. It controls the data flow inside and outside the CPU and also controls the operations of ALU memories and registers. It also carry out instructions. It fetches the instructions, decode it and then interprets it and then sends control instructions to the other units until required operation is done. Last unit within the CPU is the memory unit. This is the unit that is attached to the CPU and is called the internal memory. The memory is used to store data and instructions. These memories are divided into several storage locations that stores data or instructions. Examples are register memory, cache memory. For more details about the memory, please go to the video as shown in the i button above. Finally, let's know about the output unit. This unit consists of devices that gives output. These units are also attached to the computer. After data is processed, the result is given or shown through the output unit. The binary form of the data is converted to human understandable form. Examples are monitor, printer, etc. Till now I have discussed over the different units and I hope everything was clear to you. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it and subscribe and press the bell icon to get further notified.